At 44, Abdi Abdiraham is the oldest American runner to ever make the U.S. Olympic team. But he's not letting age stop him. The third is the new 20. I'm, you know what? And that's, I think, is the truth. And I'm, uh, and I'm a proof of that. I'll probably be one of the oldest people in the Olympic Village, especially in the running events. I'm just representing all those middle-aged men who's out there who think they cannot run. Somalia-born Abdi was just a child when his family was forced into refugee camps, eventually settling in Arizona and becoming a U.S. citizen. I'm American. I grew up here. This country gave me everything that I wanted in life, just a free education, part-time Olympian. Just I am as proud as American I am than as proud as Somali. I'm proud for both two countries. It was the peer pressure of watching his friends go to sports practices that got Abdi to start running. I went to the Kimo College coach and I told him I would love to run and he asked me if I ever run before. I told him no. And I came in second that day and that was the beginning of my running career to be honest. Wait, you were already in college by the time you started running? Yep. <laughs> yeah, I was already, yep. I never ran in high school at all. Despite breaking track records at the University of Arizona, Abdi's family thought the U.S. was so big there was no way he could have made the Olympic team. They didn't believe it. There was a real action. They didn't even believe me until they see me on TV, the opening ceremony in 2000, in 2000 Olympics. Coming from Somalia, being in the refugee camp, and, you know, just moving to U.S., he just, they have sacrificed a lot for me, and just, you know, there's no way I can repay them. In his new book, Abdi's World, The Black Cactus on Life, Running, and Fun, the five-time Olympian gives advice to runners and non-runners alike. You just never give up on your dreams. Just follow the path of your destiny with open heart and purpose. For Inside Edition Digital, I'm T.C. Newman.